Ladies and gentlemen, I told you there was going to be a second video for today's uh, Not Scary Farm Week video. This is our bonus video. Be because we couldn't decide uh, which game plan will work better. So we just thought, hey, let's make two game plan videos this year. This is the first time it's ever been done on the Knights of Horror this year. We both, for once, had a disagreement in game plan. So we just thought, hey, let's share both of our game plans and let's let the audience decide which game plan worked for them. Today, right now, for video number two, you are going to get Sammy's game plan. Now, Sammy, I got to do all the talking last video, so I'm going to let you take it away for this one. So I am ready. Um, and we didn't have a disagreement. We just said, uh, I can see how both these game plans could work. Um, so with this game plan, uh, my emphasis is on trying to get you through each of these new mazes as quickly as possible. Um, so on my game plan, where you're going to start, instead of starting in your normal ghost town, watch the, uh, the show from there, um, they also do have a show um, that is in the front of the park. Um, and so my first maze I would recommend going is the new maze, the tribute maze, as we mentioned, the one that plays homage to the 10 Chilling Chambers from 1977. And that would be the Chilling Chambers, the 50th anniversary house here, um, led by the Keeper, um, who represents uh, Sinister Seymour from the first not scary fonts. Um, and so we'll go in there. Um, Tony, tell us what your thoughts are on the Chilling Chambers. Shelly Chambers, man, sounds great. A great homage to the years past uh, to represent some of those famous moments and, and mazes, scare zones throughout the years. So I'm excited to see what they bring back, what homages we're going to get. I've seen a little doll factory on there. Uh, so I'm a little I'm a little excited for that one. I remember that was uh, when I was a wee little lad when I first went to the event. I remember seeing that facade like in the back of my head. Uh, I, can, I could see it now, but uh, I'm excited for this one. Yeah, super excited. And once you get out of there, um, it's going to spit you right out into your first scare zone of the evening. And that will be a new zone, a reimagining of an old zone, which is the gauntlet. Um, if you've watched any of the Knots announcement event um, in Gypsy Camp, they did have a few characters out already uh, from the gauntlet. Um, so you're going to go ahead and see all of the tears and frights of this new reimagining of the gauntlet. I'm just going to want to go all the way back through Camp Snoopy as you get into Fiesta Village. Go ahead and check out the new buildings that are in Fiesta Village, although they have already been open now for a few months. Um, but you can go in and check that on out. And then you're going to want to go into Forsaken Lake, uh, a, maze that's, or, 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 a zone that sometimes is often overlooked, um, but a great zone and great costume design nonetheless. Um, and you're going to want to work your way back towards the front so that you can see that. And then... We're going to go to Ghost Town because you can't skip Ghost Town. Um, and ideally, by this time, the sun will have set. It'll be dark. It'll be a little bit more chilling. Uh, and you're going to want to go through Ghost Town. You're going to want to go up the right side, though, um, the side that's by the train and go through the little train to the right um, by where the log right is. And you're going to go to another new maze here. Uh, which will be Cinema Slasher, which we got wrong in the last video, but this name, Cinema something. Cinema Slasher, uh, another original uh, maze coming to the event uh, based out of the minds of some great creators like John Cook. Um, I, I know that Tony is super excited for this one, um, but do you want to, any, any other details you want to give on old Cinema Slasher? Uh, no, I like the concept. Again, this seems like it's going to be paying some tributes to the past of Not Scary Farm, which I like what these two mazes are doing. Um, and this is also a new original concept. So, you know, us and originals here on the Nights of Horror, no matter where haunt we go to, we like to see a good original maze and a good solid story told. And Knots is not shy of doing that. So I'm excited to see what uh, is offered this year with this one. And I cannot wait to go through this one. Yes. And then once you come on out of Cinema Slasher, we're going to go to another banger of a maze. As mentioned in our last game plan video, if you watch that, uh, we mentioned that they've just been putting out banger after banger these last few years. Um, and Mesmer is just like that. You're going to want to go hit that. It's in the back of the boardwalk. Um, go ahead and, and do that um, and get tripped out. What is your favorite scare in Mesmer, Tony? 
Oh, I'm a big fan at the end of the giant puppet on strings with the strobe lights. Uh, if you do the red door, it's right when you come out of the red door, he's right there. But if you go around regular, you get that full visual of him. That's always one of my favorite shots to get when we shoot. Um, and I, I'm, I just love seeing that. So that's my favorite probably part of that entire maze. Yeah, it's perfect. Then you're going to get out right over by Supreme Scream. And then we're going to go on up into another great scare zone here. And you're going to go ahead and carn evil. Um, and there will be a lot of madness and shenanigans. Hey, bro, if you know, you know, right? Go back to Haunted Hayride. Go back to Haunted Hayride. If you know, you know. Um, go in, in there. Have a great time. Um, if you're not scared, you will at least be entertained. I can promise you that. That is a Sammy guarantee. That's a, that's um, actually, and you, I'll, I'll even stamp that as a Knights of Horror guarantee. That's a Knights of Horror guarantee. If you're not scared, you will at least be entertained. I can promise you that. Um, because a lot of people have a phobia of clowns. So if you're not scared of clowns, somebody around you will be. I can promise you that. Um, and so I can promise you they'll probably see one person doing a whole sprint across. Yeah. Most likely. I think it happens <laughs> every night we, we go. So, Yes. So then I'm going to go in with our third and final new maze, which is Room 13. And this is uh, a, a maze that is going to give some more lore into the next scare zone which we'll get to um and like which is the goring 20s um it's gonna give us some more backstory and lore behind that we're gonna figure out a little bit more about the devil's elixir and seeing what's happening on old memory lane um how are you how are you feeling about room 13 tony i'm stoked for room 13 i've commented on this all week i, I love the 20s vibe i love the old school hotel kind of gives me them Tower of Terror vibes, you know, the Great Gatsby kind of vibes. Um, so I'm excited to see what they do with this to get an actual backstory of how the Devil's Elixir got, like, poisoned or, or cursed or whatever it may be. I'm super stoked for this maze. This is another one that's going to be high on our list. I can promise you guys right now, when you guys watch the hype video, our mo our top three will be the new mazes. I just don't know in what order each of us will have them because I'm still trying to figure that out right now. <laughs> Bold claim. Will they be my top three? Find Who out. Knows? We'll find out. I don't even. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. We haven't filmed that video just yet. I don't know where I'm putting everything. Yeah, I don't even know. I'm trying to figure that out right now. I was like, I don't even know how I'm going to rank these, man. They're all bangers. Yeah, so many great houses. Um, and so um, I we don't know actually where the entrance and exit of room 13 is. We have an idea of where it's at. It's going to be near the arcade um, out out near Goring 20s. Um, but then you're going to want to go venture on through Goring 20s. Have some fun there. Go on over by Pony Express. And we're going to hit uh, a maze from last year, uh, a great maze from last year, and that is the Grimoire, a beautiful maze um, with some unknown origins of this book that has been passed through time and these stories that are having a horrific effect on the people who read it. Uh, what were your thoughts of going into the Grimoire last year? Man, I just remember being stoked about kind of seeing the different um... – the time zones and the, and the time periods that they incorporate in the maze through the trailer. But to walk through it, man, it just proved my point exactly that a Twilight Zone uh, Twilight Zone maze is possible to do in black and white and not proved it by doing an original maze entitled The Grimoire. Uh, that was cool to see where the book ended up throughout the decades and to see kind of what catch up to the 80s where we last left off with it, at least in that maze. Um, but it was a good setup for the 50th, in my opinion, to kind of you know bring back the witch. Uh, that's going to be, it looks like, the main concept for the hanging this year, so we're excited for that. But uh, yeah, man, Grimoire was a 10 out of 10 in my eyes. 10 out of 10. Going out of there, you're going to pass by some restrooms. That's always a clutch restroom spot. That's a tip. Great spot. Uh, then you're going to want to go to a maze from 2019 was its first year. If you went to the announcement event earlier this year, there was a lights on tour. If you did Beyond the, Beyond the Fog when it existed, rest in peace. However, we really hope you come back one day. Um, we got to experience this, and that was Origins, the Curse of Calico, where you get to dive into the lore of Sarah Marshall um, and see her from when she gets her judgment to the revenge she exerts on the town of Calico. And all along the way, you'll find some very fun monsters um, that have been icons of the event for many, many years. Um, give, us your, give us your thoughts on Origins. Maybe something you've never said about this, about this maze. Um, well, what was cool last year, and we talked a little bit about last year, was when we did the, the Behind the Fog tour, um, to kind of get 
into all the Easter eggs and everything that there's so much Easter eggs to the park's history in the past. Um, this maze is just beautiful with both the lights on and lights off because lights off, you get the full experience of actors and, and, and just, uh, you know, the whole story being told and then lights on, you get to see all those amazing details that you necessarily wouldn't get to see with the lights off. So uh, I just think both with lights on and lights off, this maze is just gorgeous. Definitely. Um, this will let you out on the exit. There's a little restaurant right there. If you got our sippy cups, if you've been following along with our recommendations, um, if you have that sipper cup, there's a great fill-up location right outside of this maze as well. And then what we're going to do is have you go swing back around the corner, and we're going to go into Ghost Town, go on through Fog Alley, get scared, have some fun. Um, watch out, because there are sliders lurking everywhere. Everywhere. Go ahead. Go say hi to the Birdcage Theater and keep going down Fog Alley. And then you're going to make a right. And there's four mazes in the back in an area they often call Gypsy Camp, just past the exit of the Ghost Rider. Um, and here, my first recommendation will be to go to Bloodline 1842. Since this is the newest maze in that area um, in its second iteration with... A reskin, maybe, because according to their website, as mentioned in the last video, you will be armed only with your wits and courage. So that makes it seem like those guns have disappeared. Um, and so that is Bloodline 1842. Uh, what are your thoughts on maybe those guns disappearing, Tony? Um, we've said it many times on the channel, even last year, and we've said it for this week as well. Uh, we think this maze is beautiful. And we honestly are very excited if there is no guns, the, the better for us. So that way we can actually take time, look at some details. I mean, the sets this last year were so, so massive. They fit so much. They even extended it out to even fit more. Um, so, I mean, this location always delivers with great mazes. Previous to that was one of our favorites, Paranormal Inc. Um, so to kind of see this take over, and hopefully with no guns this year, uh, a lot more people will get to enjoy these big sets and see all these uh, people selling the story a lot better. So. Yes, definitely. That is the goal. Even if the if the guns are back, like it's not a downfall. I, I no, think, not at all. I just I think I think it's great. Fans, a lot of fans, much like us, we just wanted it no guns so we can kind of enjoy more of like the the scenic, you know, and more story. Yeah, definitely. Um, and speaking of story, um, this is going to take you back kind of towards the front of where the the mazes are offered at Gypsy Camp, and that will be to go through Waxworks. Um, Waxworks is a, a fun house. Um, I'll stop the world and melt with you. What a beautiful yeah. line in there. If you know, you know. Um, if you know, you know. Um, and it's 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 been a great maze since its first iteration in 2019. Um, unfortunately, last year really didn't get the love that I think it deserved because um, that line was never that long. Um, but, uh, I mean, wax museums are creepy. If you've seen the House of Wax, whether it be the 2000s version or the early 1940s version or 50s, I forget what year it came out. Um, go, uh, it's a creepy concept, and those wax figures were once alive. So oh, yeah. go on in there. What do you, uh, how do you feel? What is your favorite part of Waxworks? Devil's Den 3D. Devil's Den 3D. If you know, that. you know. Yep. You know, you know. All right. Once you get out of Waxworks, now we're going to go pay our respects to two mazes that will unfortunately be leaving the event. And my first recommendation will be to go to the depths and have one last voyage under the sea. Uh, my hope is that they do bring back the pre-show. They had a pre-show back the first few years of this, um, and they've since not had that show, but if they did bring it back for its last voyage, I wouldn't be upset because I thought it was really cool to be able to go through that elevator shaft and then dive on deep into the undersea and come to visit. Um, I Let's see. What are your two favorite ones? Because I have an idea of what they are, but what are your two favorite parts of this maze? Um, I love the, I, I really love the Davy Jones scene when you go into a ship and you see Davy Jones just chilling around and the effect they have of the ship actually moving like you're in it on, on the water. 
that's a really cool scene. And then I think a little bit prior to that, it might be actually right before that is the giant squid uh, scene, which I've always kind of looked at as like the Kraken. Um, so those are like my two favorite scenes. If I had to choose like a, a honorable mention, it would probably be Bruce the shark at the end. Um, so yeah, those are some of my favorites. Ooh, I definitely thought you were going to go with the laser green fog move. Oh, that's fun too. But like just those, those massive sets and then the boat just actually feeling like you're underwater yeah. and stuff like that's so cool too. Yeah. I thought you were going to go with the cookbook essential there. Yeah. A great staple. Um, and then last as mentioned, um, but certainly not least in my book, I have a, I have a deep love for this maze um, is dark entities. Uh, a fun voyage through space. So you got to go through an undersea voyage and now you're going to go to the beyond is space. Uh, we know little about both, but the uh, voyage into dark entities, it gives you a, a look into what it would be to walk through something very similar to alien on a, a ship that's been taken over by an extraterrestrial beings. Um, Tony, why is this your least favorite maze? And please tell me it's because of the face huggers. I mean, they don't got face huggers in there, but they got some pretty creepy creatures in there. Uh, but it's not my my least favorite. I mean, I I know in the past, um, it might be honestly very low on the hype list, only because there's other things that are gonna be more exciting for me. But um, my you know we've we've always advocated here. We would have loved to have like for like the last year, maybe they throw in the guns for uh, dark entities. I haven't heard anything, so I highly doubt it. But I felt the guns would have fit perfectly in dark entities as well as Sammy uh, when we pitched that idea here on the Knights of Horror. But uh, I'm excited to see this one last time. Time. Give me one last, uh, you know, few scares here. Um, it's again, uh, it's a fan favorite of ours. Uh, we've we've always had good walkthroughs of it in the past, and um, I'm sad to see it go, but I'm excited to see what comes next. Definitely, definitely. Uh, even a lights off, a lights on, lights off treatment would have been sick in Dark Entities if you had yeah. a flashlight that didn't work, uh, because it is kind of bright. Uh, but that would be my game plan. Um, so that way you can make sure you're hitting those those new mazes as early as you can. Um, and then leaving Gypsy Camp towards the end. Um, we both did that. Um, it's just basically where do you go? Do you start at Origins or do you start at Ten Children Chambers? Um, it's basically the difference between uh, our plans here. Because we basically go in reverse on those. Yeah, We do go in reverse on those. <laughs> um, so uh, go ahead um, and... and Drop a comment down below if you have a different game plan than uh, what you saw in an earlier video today as well as mine. Um, go ahead and if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. It is really greatly appreciated as well as turn those bell notifications on um, because we do have some bangers coming out when Knots comes as well as we have a few more videos lined up for the rest of this week. Um, as well as follow us on our socials um, on X, aka formerly Twitter, at Knights of Horror, as well as on Instagram. TikTok threads at the Knights of Horror and Knights of Horror Gaming on Kick. Um, yeah. But all in all, we all in all, we really hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday, and we look forward to seeing you in more videos later this week. See you on the fog. Peace. Yeah.